and it is going to take a while and it's going to have occasional lags minimal lag spikes but I will get this done let us continue and you are oh my god oh bonjour everyone I am Jean Armstrong, the owner and head chef of Le Tres Bien Restaurant. Enchant. Uh... Are you a woman? Oh la la, monsieur. As you can see, I am Le Pert and Perky Gentleman, no? Mm. Just ignore that. So you were in Tres Bien's kitchen the day of the incident, yes. With you, monsieur. Everything feels right. Are you flirting with Godot? Really? Really? Ha! <laughs> and he's not phased. Nice. Now this is where we always get... lag spikes. Let's see if it happens now. No. Good. Excellent. When it all happened, there were just two customers in my restaurant. I remember I was experimenting with some new art deco that day. Like having a large mirror between the tables, for example. Why the f- would you have a mirror in, in the middle of your restaurant? That just explains why you're such a failure at a restaurant owner. Oui, perhaps that is what la old man was looking at. The cup, la earpiece, and la glasses. He would have seen everything in reverse, no? In reverse, eh? In reverse is in red, so we have to focus on that. Yes, there's a mirror. What was the point? What kind of art decor would a freaking mirror be? I don't know about that, Goodell. It sounds like just a real convenient excuse to me. Yeah, way too early. Two customers in my restaurant. We can't go anywhere with this. Press this just for the lols. Oops, sorry. They expect people to know the difference between a reflection and a real object. Normally? How does normality come into this? That's lame, right? Even for you. Huh? Are you trying to say that if something isn't normal, it isn't possible? Is that it? The porky headed lawyer and the top knot chick over there. And the ungodly cool guy with the mask over here. Ha! <laughs> yes, logic has somehow won the day. La cup, la earpiece, and la grasses. You would have seen everything in reverse, no? Really? We. Oui. Old seedy. Old CD. How did he phrase it again? Listen. Earpiece on the same side as the green lens of his specs. It was his left ear, without a doubt. Left ear, left hand, left eye. Everything he said he saw on the left would actually be on the right. Or does it? We need to have another look at our evidence. <laughs> That's a nice nickname there, Maya. I like that. Old CD. Really. I will dig through all the seeds. Now, here. If you look at the picture of Glenn Elk in our profile, it says he he wore his HMD over his left eye, and his left eardrum was ruptured. So that creates some problems here. So we present his profile.
wearing the earpiece on the same side of as the green lens of his specs. Was his left ear? Both the HMD and the earpiece were on the victim's left side. But the victim wears his H HMD, whatever that stands for, I don't remember, on his left side. Left eye. Yes. That's correct. Now what? E don't answer that. How he thinks. Yeah, that IQ. Also known as old CDs, sworn testimony. The more of an impression something makes, the more muddled his mind makes it. Yes. Ugh. I don't like that. I saw the earpiece and those newfangled spectacles he was wearing. Oh yes, they were both on his left ear. Do you hear? His left ear. Not a bad impression. Just a rash. Let's find out. We, oui, I can explain. Please, if you look at the plans of the restaurant. Still going good so far. Excellent. Poor plan. The mirror, it was in the middle of the restaurant, dividing the two halves. Only one seat from which you could have seen the image of the victim. Where the green dot is. With a W in it. After the incident occurred, you moved the mirror so it wasn't in the way. Again, that makes me think it's just a convenient excuse, but naturally you didn't touch anything else. Anything else but the mayor. Very well. In the middle of the restaurant, dividing the two halves. Only one seat from which you could have seen an image of the victim. That was a seat. That was where the old man was sitting. Mirror reflection. Okay. Yes, it does seem kind of odd. I need to shut him up. Now I need to go back through here. We should have a photo of the crime scene. That's not it. That is it. And we can't see it from here, but. Remember he broke the vase on his table? Well, the picture, the crime scene photo, it shows the table that... They claim old CD was sitting at. 
and yes, something that theoretically should not exist. that should not exist, that would be this vase. The vase. With this piece of evidence being Victor's haiku testimony, which says he broke the vase. One piece of evidence he had comes through for us. 